Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Annie Paul Podcast. I am your host, Jaden Day Zero. And with me are your awesome co hosts. Oh, are we introducing ourselves? <laughs> I mean, that's okay. pretty much how it goes. So, <laughs> what if oh, okay. we both went to do it at the same time? <laughs> I got, uh, well, really great. let me let me redo that and I'll just introduce you guys then. Wow. No, I yeah, can introduce myself. I can, can introduce, myself. introduce oh. myself. I'm Maruitsky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm independent whammon. Wow. Who don't, need no, <laughs> who don't need no J or Ducky to introduce me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I can do it myself. <laughs> okay, go, Ducky. Your turn. <laughs> I thought Jade stopped recording. Oh, did he? <laughs> no, it's still it's still going. Okay, See, exactly. Um, hello, I am the Lucky Duelist, also known as Ducky. Um, hi. <laughs> it's good to be back. Yeah, it's it's been a while. Um. It's Stop. been like how long has it been? Actually, it's been it's been like five years. About a month. About a month. <laughs> well, I mean, it feels in, like five years. I mean, YouTube that... in YouTube terms, it's like technically like five years. Oof. It's just yes. that meme from Pokemon X and Y, or it's it's been three thousand years. Bruh. <laughs> so yeah, pretty... on this episode, I th- we're talking about Gotcha. The most addicting, controversial, uh, I don't know, disgusting kind of games that the gaming industry has ever made, I guess. Before we, before we get in depth about it, I would like to clarify for anyone listening, we aren't talking about Gacha Life. That's something I would never oh, yeah, give d- myself to talk about. Oof, I, I totally about forgot about that. Games, as in yeah. gambling addictions. Yeah, because... Gotcha Life, I don't know what that's about, but, you know, it's stuff, really? I guess. It's cringe. Isn't that, like, it wait, is. isn't Gotcha Life, like, a socializing game? I forget what it is. I thought it got shut down. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it did, but, like, uh, I think it was, like, a socializing game or something. I know but, there, there was, like, a lot of socializing. It was filled with, like, 14-year-olds. Yeah, <laughs> apparently, it's, people are st- still trying to keep it alive, using avatars similar to it, but... Point aside, that, that's nothing related to what we're going to be talking about today. So, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, I don't. I don't yeah, know if I want to talk I'll about that. About <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're 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 going to be talking about uh, gacha, gacha, as in like <laughs> Japanese uh, kind of gambling. I guess. well, it is kind of glorified gambling, basically in video game form. But no, no, it's not. You oh, oh, please. Oh, please. Okay, you. It okay. Originally, mm-hmm. It Go. originally comes from, I believe it's called Gacha Pon, something like that, where you put yeah. your sorry, coin what? in the machine, spin the thingy, and then you oh, get the little okay. toy out or figure or keyring, whatever it is. Dude, oh, I yeah. got so scared. I thought you said something else. You thought it said Gacha Pon, didn't you? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> <"What>? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What are those? <laughs> yeah, cool I, other thing. I just realized. Yeah, I just now realized that like little kids been playing gacha with like the gumball machines and stuff at the malls and stuff. Yeah. So it's, it's, instead of like um, you know getting your figures or something or whatever, you get like different colored gums and you're technically gambling in a way. For yeah, they, with twenty five cents. Yeah, you put like twenty p and spin it and a bouncy ball flies out. Yeah, even though you're yeah. getting technically the same thing, like you're gambling with the colors, I I suppose. Yeah, but that yeah. that's just what these gacha games are with characters. Though they all do the th- same thing, but it looks different. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, you you're totally right. Except for a, with the exception of some other things, like well, just to clarify, a lot of a lot of this uh, gacha stuff is that there's different forms of gacha. There's the uh, I believe the video game ones. Um, there's the um, slot machine kind of things, which I think only exist in Japan in terms of like these little balls currency instead of like um, coins or tokens that you see at a casino. It's like these little balls and you can trade them in for like mon- actual money um, or prizes or so- or whatever. And it's really cool because they have a lot of different themes. 
not not the addict not getting addicted to it but it, it, the cool part is about the like different themes and stuff about the game, the machines or something but yeah i don't know and i forget uh, i think there's other ones too i don't know if does loot boxes kind of count as gotcha yeah, i think a loot box counts yeah um yeah, yeah. i'd say so because so, you're yeah. paying for something in hopes to res- like in hopes to you know get something cool out of it or like a character that you want yeah, and then there's those <laughs> ma- machines that Ducky was saying uh, from, like, those you just put a quarter in or something and you hope to get, like, uh, your favorite figurine or, like, even at the mall, like, Hot Topic or something, I don't know, or Walmart, they have these little um, surprise anime figures or whatever they put, they hide it or something. I'm pretty you just sure pay- Walmart doesn't have anime, ca- a- anime well, figures. Well, <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, I get... Disney characters. But yeah, they have the little uh, surprise box. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, and I, I don't know. I think that's pretty much all the all types of gotcha. I could be missing some things. I don't know, but I know there's a, a gotcha thing for skins for like Call of Duty skins and stuff as well. Mm-hmm. But that got shut down because mm-hmm. of like it was like a scam. But <laughs> oof. oof. But yeah, Rip so all the people who lost monies. <laughs> yeah, but th- but the one gotcha game that, or the one gotcha type we're going to be talking about today is mostly probably uh, video games, just because of the fact that it's notorious and everybody kind of re- are familiar with that kind of stuff. Because it's you know it's in almost every single game, except for like uh, single player games. But even then, they're but they're trying to for like those games. <laughs> yeah, there are some gotcha games which are designed to be single player with minimal. Like interactivity, yeah. Like, um, mobile games—they don't have direct multiplayer. Hmm. I, I haven't really encountered those games, but they have like friend systems and that, and mm-hmm. they have things with scoreboards. But there's no mode in which you will directly interact with someone. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's like I guess the the latest trend for video game developers is like, oh, we need a in order to like get money back from from uh from developing this game we'll just have to introduce like some kind of like we need a gotcha (laughs) yeah i mean it's not too bad like the only gotcha games i do accept is like cosmetic ones because just because of the fact that okay you don't really need um Mm. you can unlock every single character but the only difference is you pay for is the skins and stuff it's kind of like um i think sky yeah overwatch a good example, Sky. I think isn't Sky like okay? You just pay for the skins and only. Is it skins only um, or? Well, yes. Yeah, so Sky, for people who don't know what it is, first of all, is a cute mobile game created by uh, that game company. And basically, you start off in this cute as a cute little character, and yep. Yeah, and basically, every so like two months, they release like a season, which you pay like. 10 or $20, depending on which one you want to get, um, for this pass that basically allows you to, like, get these special skins and stuff from, like, the characters that show up in the game and stuff. Um, but, yeah, you basically are paying for the skins, and you know exactly what skins you would... Well, yeah, you would kind of have an idea of what skins you would be getting, sort of. Um, but the thing with that is that you, like... Because people like like already like spoil it for other people by like showing like what you're um, most likely like what it is that you'd be getting. But if you're new to it and you're not in the community and stuff, then most likely yeah you're paying for it without really having so much of an idea of which uh, what the cosmetic is exactly. Mm-hmm. But yeah, basically <clears throat> you're mostly paying for the cosmetic. So yeah, if you really want it and stuff. Yeah, so it's a cute game. <laughs> it's a really cute <laughs> game. It's yeah, worth okay. it ten dollars. It's just $10. no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> this is the part where Mario says you're not allowed to stop listening until you play the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, it's really cute. I promise. It's good. <laughs> well, uh, and another notable game I kind of want to mention is well, Mario probably probably barely rarely played it. I I think she Mario. installed it. <laughs> Installed it at one point, but you uninstalled it. Is the Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links game because that oh, one's a, yeah, 
That one's a little bit over. I haven't played that in so long. Yeah, but but yeah, I haven't, I haven't touched that. <laughs> so the the thing about that one compared to Sky is that the Yu Gi Oh Duel Links game, um, you kind of do have to pay to win a little bit, um, just for the fact that if you yeah. if you want the yeah. <laughs> the strongest card or the latest um what's you know really good in the game, you have to like um uh, pay unless you want to grind and like duel like hundreds of thousands of times you have to actually pay up money in order to get booster packs in the game in order to get like randomly cards from the the deck or i uh, i don't know what I'm from the is booster why... box oh i was gonna say why work hard when you can just pay for it for see the free. thing is the thing is is that you can't even pay to get that card specifically like you can pay oh. to get a booster pack, which is random, randomly five cards from the booster box itself, which has like yeah. like thirty different cards, and you only get five cards, and it, sometimes it can be duplicates or not, mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, no. Is it three cards? See, it is in Duel Links. It's three. Oh, okay. Well, See, with, with yeah. that though, like, um, I definitely would say no to to like buying it because mm-hmm. I know that if I'm not likely to get the card that I want then it's not really worth buying or paying for it because if you're if you're basically risking in order to get something like the same thing again then what's the point of it yeah yeah Cause, and it's cuz like well sorry cuz like compared to sky it's like mm-hmm. you don't you're paying a one time like fee that um goes on for like a certain amount of time right but the thing is like you're you're bound to get the um the skin that you want depending on like how many candles you collect and stuff and it, it all it all basically uh comes down to you uh you kind of grinding every day to kind of get like the amount that you need in order to get it but the good thing about it is that like depending when you buy it and stuff if you like pre-bought it then you get like extra like a boost of like extra candles that so that kind of sounds like fortnite because I know I, was I think that say it's like the battle pass. It, <laughs> it, it no, is, I'm dude, dude. Well, it's just playing Fortnite this whole time. No, yeah. <laughs> no seriously, like it's not Fortnite. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure Sky just ripped off Fortnite in that sense about the battle pass and stuff like that. Yeah. So well, games are doing no. that though. No, no, yeah, no. that's true. Fortnite, Call of Duty, Genshin, a lot of wow. games. Wait, yeah. Genshin has the, the Genshin has the thing. The battle pass. Like a month. <laughs> Genshin has a yeah. pass, and yeah, there's Did a free really? thing, and then there's a paid thing. I think there's a free thing anyway. I don't know. I mean, but, um, you the free thing is like basically you just like get the mission stuff, and then uh, occasionally they'll like give you like the mm. the stuffs through like the little mailbox or something. Yeah, there's um there's, there's something similar to a battle pass where you do special missions and get XP, and then oh. you use that to get prizes. Well, yeah, I had no idea that was a thing. Shiz. I haven't played it uh too often, so me neither. I just play every once in a while, which it's it's a pretty good game to distract yourself. But um, I definitely I pro I wouldn't really pay money for it though. Mm-hmm. It's Cause... just a fr- it's just a free version of Breath of the Wild with a gacha mechanic. <laughs> like I everything in it is identical to Breath of the Wild. Really? Mm-hmm. Is... I haven't even played Breath of the Wild though. God. See the thing about Genshin, my my little thing about. Okay, so here's the thing. I've noticed that a lot of the mechanics and stuff and animation stuff, it, they kind of ripped it off of other games, which I'm which in a sense it's not bad too bad i guess it's like you can you notice it like for example the running animation to one of the characters is kind of like 2b from near automata um Uh their dash move or whatever when when they run and another one's like the stylist stylistic environment like breath of the wild is one and i don't know there are other other things that they kind of rip off other games from in order to make it like that but but I've I don't actually know. heard that a bit from yeah. other people as well. So, and that's what a lot of people have said when it first kind of came out and stuff too. That's yeah, like the um, because they copied off a lot from other. Yeah, that's yeah. that's my thing. Like, I I guess like, it's just a like 
they just took some i don't know it feels like they just took some um character sprites from like blender or something like the blender store or something and just slapped it onto like a a breath of wild engine or something and just it took assets they took from other reject, rejected vtubers <laughs> <laughs> i mean <laughs> i don't know man like i'm not well i guess i'm just kind of a little biased just because of the fact that i i did play it a little bit of kinshin impact at the beginning um, but I, it's not like I got past the the tutorial part just because it's it was like eh, it's it's all right I guess I don't know. Didn't even get past the tutorial. I, I noticed wow. something strange about Genshin where the voice actors in it, the English ones anyway, mm -hmm. are, mm -hmm. uh, I've never heard of any of them, but they all sound like voice actors I know. Like it's it's like a small voice actor imitating a well-known one. Oh really? Huh. Strange. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to their voice actor, the voice acting too much because I just I think the character just looks cool, and I'm like, okay. It, it's it's hard not to pay attention to the voice actors when it's all I hear. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just know I have my one favorite character, and that's all. It's a yeah. secret. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's yes, just it's... so cute. Okay, she's just adorable. Okay. So my like question, <laughs> my question to you yeah. guys is like, what's the most you spent like on a gotcha game? Like, Zero dollars. I call BS on oh. that. What? Like, <laughs> seven, like I know for a fact one. that you've spent more than that, but what? go ahead. <laughs> Found figured. Well, you go on, Ducky. You tell us first. Um, like seven ninety nine, because at the end of twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. I think it was 2019, right? This gacha game I play called Pokemon Masters EX. Oh, it's like yeah. like Pokemon, but you get to collect the trainers as well as the... Mm -hmm. um, they had this thing where it was like, hey, this thing usually costs about £30, but now it's 8 And I'm like, cool. Wait, so, what you know, was it? It's um, a, a huge buttload of in-game currency. Mm -hmm. Wow. That, that's all they ever offer like in most games. Was it worth it? Um, I I don't remember. I think it was. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. but if it's th if it's thirty pound worth of stuff for eight pound, then mm -hmm. it's. Bro, I, I mean, I guess I don't know. What about you, Mara? Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't spend any money. Uh huh. Okay. You spent a million dollars on Sky, <laughs> dude. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I want to get past her. Okay, if wait, hold on. <laughs> I don't. I still don't consider Sky a god. Gacha game. Yeah. It is though. It is just admit it. it it's a gacha know. game. I don't think it is though. Is it though? It's just it like... is. I I think it is. Like I mean, well, if you're guaranteed to get it, then it's not a gacha game. Yeah, I was I was just thinking that just now too. It was like exactly, exactly. Well, see, the thing with the with that game is that you buy the pass, but it really depends up to you to collect the. The candles necessary to get to yeah, the amount Fortnite. that's needed, but in the end, it's like um, it's not Fortnite. <laughs> <Just got this. laughs> it's Fortnite. <laughs> <No>. Anyways, <laughs> it's uh, it's not Fortnite. Um, <laughs> but it's um, dang, I lost my train. <laughs> Being mad now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. No, it's just like um, it just it more like depends on the the player itself to like actually get the amount needed to get the item mm -hmm. um because if you miss a day that you basically miss like five candles every like for every day that you miss um so basically that's really up to you if you miss that day or not um but it does basically make the players come back and play it every day so they have to keep collecting in mm -hmm. order to get the item that they want Mm -hmm. And like even, but the thing with that though is, um, like even if you're, if even if you don't buy the pass, you're still able to get some of the cosmetics, but um, you just don't get like the one extra like candle every day. So and stuff. So in, in, overall, there is no random element in order to get these things, or there's no like random thing that you can like get. Yeah. 
it, it's like it's, it's like you always know what you're going to get and what you're paying for essentially yeah kind of pretty uh sort of yes because like you um like i said if you're like part of like the like the community for the game you're more likely to kind of like see what the cosmetics are going to be um but if you're not and and you're just starting the well, game it, i most... mean i mean it, mm -hmm. in that case though like if it's just like oh hey look the sneak peek to what's going to come out next or the next event that's not really yeah. a gotcha game at that point so I, that's what i told you i told you it's not well because gotcha. you didn't explain it perfectly okay <laughs> you should have said it's fortnite and that would have it's understood not... <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's just fortnite for people who don't like violence <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> That's horrible. Stop it. Don't compare it to Fortnite. <laughs> so okay, so then that means that the that game isn't uh, isn't a gotcha. I know Yu Gi Oh for a fact is a gotcha game. Even the real Anemic trading card game. Can the characters do funny dances in Sky? Wait, what? <laughs> hmm? that again? Can the characters do funny dances in Sky? Not the. Yeah, they, they can. It's not Fortnite. They have, it's not yeah. Fortnite. They, they have emotes. <laughs> It's same, it's same thing. No, 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 no. Anyway, it's, a, um, it's yeah. a cute game, okay? It's a very cute game. Until they do it. the orange justice. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I swear, I told you guys, it's not Fortnite. I'm gonna cry. Well, then, what's... Uh, what, okay, so, what other game that was totally random, kind of like that, that you don't know what you, you could get, but you actually paid money in order to get... Um, a chance in order to get an item. Like, is there I any mean, other game? Mm, not like. really. I mean, like for me at least, like usually when it came to that, I was kind of already aware that I knew that it wasn't likely that I would get. Like, mm -hmm. there was a slim chance of actually getting the item that I wanted, so I never really like risked it. Because one, most most of the time when I played these games, I was younger and I didn't really have any money. Mm -hmm. so I was like, well, it's not like an, I can actually spend money on this. Um, but even so, like, now, like, when, if I do find games like those, um, I, like, might get tempted, but I, I usually try not to. Mm -hmm. I don't think I actually have spent any money on, on any game, at least from what I can remember. Maybe, like, well, no, I would no, because I didn't even spend money on Overwatch for a <laughs> because that would have been really dumb. Because like most of the times, you don't get anything good out of it. Oof. I think Interna my brother might have internally sweating right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was you. Okay, oh Jake, go on. Go on, Jake. How much have you turn. spent on okay. Overwatch and Duel Links and yeah, no Overwatch. kidding. Okay, no. okay, 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 okay. You're All like right, <laughs> so all right, so Overwatch. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I'll for, I'll start with I'll I'll start wait, with Duel Links wait. because that's wait, the most. Take a guess. Uh, yeah. Guess okay. Guess. You can guess right now with Overwatch how much I spent. Okay. I think you spent about. I'm gonna say like. I'm gonna say like either twenty five or fifty dollars. Mm hmm. That's, that's higher than guess. that. I think it's more than that. <laughs> okay. What's your, what's your guess, Ducky? <laughs> I don't know. Like three hundred or something. Jeez, I was gonna I say three thousand, think... but three hundred's a bit more realistic. Yeah. No All problem. right. Well, I'll start off with um, the other game because there's only been two games that have actually there are gotcha like hundred percent gotcha games that I spent the most in. Like it, it doesn't even have to be okay. First of all, you Ducky, you've spent money on gotcha games too, like the, on this game too. So I know for a fact that you have like Yu Gi Oh, Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, that's a gotcha game right there. It is. It is. And I, we, we both know that we both spent over like two hundred dollars on that. Too, too much. Yeah. Wait, on what game? Yu-Gi-Oh! The cards, the card game. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, because wait, you cause... spent more than two hundred? Oh, I spent more than probably five hundred dollars. I bet. What the heck, bro? Like what? over the okay, so over the life lifespan of of me playing this game since I was in third grade, I've spent. Damn, that was like that was like thirty years ago. Yeah, well, oof. okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I spent over either $500 or $1,000. Yeah, me too. At yeah. Least. Dude, and I felt guilty with my, with 
the Sky game because I spent like what twenty bucks. Well, for me, that's that's a span of over eighteen years. So within eighteen wow. years, I spent like that much money. So if you spread that out, um, it's like two hundred dollars a year, probably. I I don't think it's too much because sometimes I did quit here and there. So it, it it's probably less than a thousand dollars, I bet. But I know for a fact that I spent a good chunk of money on on Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's like the only gotcha game that I've really spent on, spent so much money on. And but as far as aside from that, um, in terms of mobile gaming and stuff like just uh, digital currency, where I don't actually have a physical card or anything, um, or di- not digital currency, but just digital um, products in general, I've spent like for Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links because I actually did spend money on that in that game. Mm-hmm. Um, let me think. The first, the first item I did get was during a promotional event for like Christmas, where I got like a because I really wanted the skin for like the play mat and the card sleeves and stuff of like of like um, Crystal Beast, like little Ruby Carbuckle, um, little yeah. sleeve stuff. Like it was, it's adorable. So I got that. I I think I spent <laughs> wow. like three dollars or two dollars on it. So it's not too bad. Um, then I I know for a fact that I spent a cup like three bucks, probably like no, it's probably like about fifteen dollars in total, fifteen to twenty bucks in total for like dual links, and that's I like a, it just went like from three to three twenty, to 15. <laughs> yeah. Well, three three for like per product, three to five dollars per product or whatever. But I'm pretty sure in total I spent over the span of like three to four years, I spent like about twenty bucks on the game in total. And how I do not. How did you get from twenty? Twenty? How did you get from twenty dollars within three years to like a thousand within like what was it? Eighteen years. 18. Well, well, because the because Mobomo... one is the mm-hmm. real game that has been out for over twenty years, and one isn't the real game, which has been out for about five. Oh, yeah. We're about... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're talking about like the mobile game that just recent. Well, not I guess it wouldn't be recent because it came out in twenty sixteen or something. But um, that mobile, the mobile game of Yu Gi Oh. I've spent like about twenty bucks on it. Um and oh, okay. till this day I do not regret any of my purchases. I, I'm really happy with what I got. So and I can still use it, so it's not like I lost it or anything in the community and that game is really strong and I still play it occasionally. What what would you do though if they if the game was suddenly like shut down? I'll be pissed. Like I want my money, I want my refund, I spent a lot of time in this game. Yeah, I clocked in. Give warnings before they shut down. Yeah, yeah. Because um, oh, well, I know a big one, Naruto Blazing, shut down in February, and they announced it in like November. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? I never got a warning when Build a Bear <laughs> shut down. Okay. And I, I never got a warning when Fortnite, shut, when Fortnite stopped the battle. Pass. No, no, no. <laughs> no, because it was like a game that I used to play when I was a kid. It was like part of like Build a Bear. They had like mm. a little website where you had your character and stuff. Man, I love that game so much. And I went back to like check it out again because I was like, dang, I haven't seen my my little my little character in like so long. So I like went back and like the website was like gone. It didn't exist, and I was really really sad and upset because I like spent money to actually like get in in item like stuff for my characters and stuff like that. And I was like, dang, this is. That that was that was kind of me with Club Penguin, except I didn't spend any money. Bruh. I love Club Penguin. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Club yeah. Penguin was so dumb though. It, it's so good. It was so good, dude. Like, oh my god, it was so I great. Was, was Club Penguin a gacha game? <laughs> no. Uh, I, no. I don't sure think so. They had, they had some no. aspects of it though. I think they Did had it, like, a couple games. They like had that. a paid membership, but that's yeah, they. Yeah, that oh, okay. they, they had a membership thing, and you get like perks oh, with it. But right. there wasn't actually a gotcha system within it, which was kind of oh, random. Okay. But, but yeah. Um, well, I guess for for that for just Yu Gi Oh itself, that's how much I spent. Really, the mobile game wasn't too bad, but the card game it was. It's a pretty. It's like I'm. Oof! I don't know if I would spend any more money on it at this point. At this point, I'm kind of just selling my stuff and just not buying anything anymore unless I really really want it yeah. want the specific cards or something but other than that yes. um 
the 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 most I spent on a, like a digital game is probably Overwatch. And oh man. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I think the most I spent in terms of like packages that they offer is probably the twenty dollar one. Um, which is like you get like how much you get like twenty four loot boxes or loot crates or I don't know what they call it. is it loot boxes? Yeah. Loot boxes. Yeah, so I spent like twenty bucks on loot box. He doesn't to... even know what it's called. When it's it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while for Overwatch. The th- the what, what pisses me thing. off. <laughs> see what what pisses me off the most. I spent um, that money within my PlayStation account, and since PlayStation and the PC doesn't doesn't like overlap. Oh, I'm so pissed. Yeah, yeah cuz I have skins on my PS4 that I want it on my PC. Don't even Okay, don't even remind me because I am so angry about that too because freaking I can't I don't play on the PlayStation as much anymore and you have to buy the freaking um PlayStation Plus in order to actually play online for o- Overwatch and it's so frustrating cuz I had freaking had the the really cool skin for Sombra and I'm gonna make yeah and that's the thing like yeah and and like okay so that's that's probably the biggest purchase within that game is the 20 box 20 dollar loop boxes or whatever um i think i purchased that like twice so i'm pretty sure that's like 40 42 dollars yeah right there to my my guess dang but mari won out Thing. No. But the, but here's yeah. the thing. I've also I I forgot how many times I've purchased this, but I also got the nine ninety nine one, which comes comes with like what eleven or twelve loot boxes or something. And I think I purchased that like four times, four to five times maybe throughout okay. well, throughout so playing Overwatch. So like eight dollars, probably. Yeah. I think probably, like yeah, probably over the span of like I don't know. Four well, to five years. Six years so. Yeah, probably like five years then. Because I got the game like a year after it came out. So I spent like probably mm. a, almost a hundred bucks on the game itself. Which is so BS because, you know, you would think, okay, you, you're spending like $30 on the actual game itself. And then they have like in, in like loot boxes in yeah. it as well. I think there's there's a big difference between having that in a free game and having that in a game you pay for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, a lot of the um, gacha games, like, just, like, actually provide better things, and you don't actually have to pay the, for the initial game itself, but Overwatch is just, like, a whole different monster in itself, and, that, and what I hate the most is that they don't let you, like, overlap your... your um, account. And stuff. Yeah, your account, like, because, like... I thought you would be able to connect to your Blizzard account. You can, you can, but you, the 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 skins and stuff you earned and the money you earned are can are just stuck within your PlayStation or your PC or your Switch or whatever you, console you play with. That's dumb. Yeah, it, yeah, really, it is really is because like what I really like about like other gacha games like Genshin Impact or like um, Yu Gi Oh Duel Links is that okay? I can play, I can play it on my PC and all my cards, all my currency, everything is still on there, and I could just switch to mobile anytime I want, and it'd still be the same thing, right? But on yeah. Overwatch, it's like the only game I would totally play, keep playing if they did this is that you can't overlap any of your stuff, and it's so dumb. I, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do that. I mean, you paid money up front for the game itself. And now they're yeah. trying to swindle you out of even more money by like, oh, hey, if you want to play this on PC, you have to buy it again because you have to get another key key code for your, for the game or whatever. And it's so dumb. Yeah. I don't know, I, dude. I basically have Overwatch on PlayStation and then I had to buy it again on the uh, PC. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, Christ. Same. For All me, it's... I was too lazy to buy it again. <laughs> I yeah. I don't blame you. Like for me, I got sick and tired of play, paying for PlayStation Plus, and it yeah. was locked behind um, that system. So I was like, "F Overwatch on PlayStation Four. I'm just gonna move over to PC." And I pretty yeah. much just grind it on there. And surprisingly, if I go back to my over old Overwatch account on my PlayStation Four, like I have less skins on there than I do on my PC. But the thing is, I spent more money on my PlayStation Four Overwatch than I did on my PC. 
I think my, yeah. on my PC, I've only spent like 10 bucks and that's pretty much it. Wow. The, the rest, I like got it from credits or like, you know, I, I think they like um, made it easier to get like really good skins. So because because, you know, people have been complaining and the whole thing with Overwatch and like the FTC and like I think in the UK or in Europe, it's like they they really are cracking down on like loot boxes or something. You might be more European, informed. European countries have like cut down on it because I know um, mm-hmm. I, uh, th- there's a game I play, and when they introduce this, it's like a gambling law in Belgium, and I can't remember what other countries. Mm-hmm. They released a notice in game which says like, "Hey, if you're in this country, the game's going to change for you." Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, yeah, European countries are cutting down on like in-game loot box transaction sort of things. Is your country like um, aware of it or like does it have any restrictions oh. on those kinds of games? Uh, no, we're okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. <laughs> it's like it's like, it's, no, like, it's like we good. We we can gamble yeah. our money away. You know, it's we, no we big deal. Cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It it gets really bad, guys. I've seen people like. Uh, spend hundreds of hundreds of dollars on these mm-hmm. even more than that probably thousands maybe but it, it gets really crazy because it actually becomes a gambling addiction and stuff like that yeah, no kidding. that um, that just actually mm-hmm. reminds me like when uh genshi first came out and everyone wanted uh venti and mm-hmm. people i kept seeing people tweet about how they spent a ton like a a ton a ton of money to get that character and they wouldn't end up getting the character because the chances of getting the character was so, like, really low. It was less than 1%, yeah. Yeah. Actually, the funny thing is that um, I tried it within, like, the first round, and I actually ended up getting him the first yeah, time. Yeah, me too. I got him for free when he came back <laughs> last month. Yeah, I was like, bruh. <laughs> like, this is what you guys wanted. I don't even play him. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> I know, I'm like, dang, people are really going to hate me for that. <laughs> but... No, people like actually spent so much money on this character though, and I was like, hmm, bro, like you just you just met this character. Like there's other good characters. And obviously they're gonna you know, they're gonna bring up the character again since um mm-hmm. since in the game in Genshi, um they ha- uh characters to unlock special abilities, you have to get them again. And once you, you get them like ag- seven times. Y- yes, oh yeah, okay. okay. You have to get them again so that you can unlock this like special ability ability for them and stuff like that. So obviously they're gonna have like some of the older characters back again because you know you have to un- you have to unlock you know like the abilities for these characters. If not later on, they're they're basically kind of I mean not useless, but like you can't like fully access their full potential of the character and stuff like that. But like. I don't know. I guess people were just so hyped about the game and like the character itself that they were so desperate to the point where they spent so much money just to get the character and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it's of, it's just crazy. <laughs> a lot of gacha games have that where they make a character really hard to get, but to make them optimal, you need to get a lot. Like um, yeah, God, I hate that. For example, I... in Oof. this <laughs> in this Dragon Ball Z game, you need to get a character. To, Theoretically, or hypothetically, whatever, fourteen times to oh. make them as good as they can be. Oh, bro, that's so BS. Yeah, it really is. Okay, that's so they get people to spend money, though. The, the okay, so the the thing about that is that okay, I understand if it's like for cosmetics or if you're if it's a PVP kind of thing. If it's not actually, if it's not a PVP if kind it's of just thing, PVE. Or is it PVE? Wait, what's PVE the E? Is players versus everything? I believe. I don't know. Which, oh. Versus the oh, trees, enemies. versus the grass, P- P- versus yes, the water. Yes, yes. <laughs> PvP is player versus player. PvE is the other thing. Okay. Player versus environment. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, if it's if it's PvE, I'm totally okay with it. Because, you know, it doesn't really affect anything like that. But if it's PvP, where you go up against other people and stuff, and you actually have to have this stuff in order to, like, make things work along. And, like, again, a... a Good example of this is like you just because I played this so much as Yu Gi Oh the mobile game is that yeah. you have to have good cards in order to like actually be good at the game, but but in order to make the deck good you have to buy multiples of that, 
And then since yeah. there's like a zero zero point one percent chance of get actually getting that card, you use, you end up like wasting either a lot of time in order to grind for like gems or whatever in order to or you waste a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like that kind of stuff, I'm not really okay with, just because of the fact that you know, okay, I, if I don't get these stuff, then I can't like be competitive or anything like that. But when it comes to like Genshin Impact I, or like other games like with just cosmetics, like like Overwatch. Overwatch doesn't require you to to have a new gun in order that shoots longer or whatever. It, it's just like cosmetics. It's just the skin itself, and that's totally fine. Or like or like a better example, like I guess skin impact. If if it's not PvP, if it's PVE, then that means all you need is a new abilities to fight other monsters or whatever. You're not really winning against other people. You know that's totally fine because you know you can just switch out with a different character or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But my thing is that with PvP stuff, play to win kind of things, it's like it's probably the worst got kind of gotcha game there is, just because of the yeah. fact that like because like games like um, Battlefront, a Star Wars game, Battlefront, um, yeah. when when that came out, people were pissed off because in order to like be good at the game or be really powerful in the game against other players, you have to have the like the best gun and stuff like that. But the thing, it was like behind a paywall. And and if you got that, if you paid enough money to get that gun or whatever, you basically become really strong, and you can't, and everybody else can't really get you. And the, what's even more scummy is that they would place those strong players up against um, noobs who just got into the game, and and to incentivize them to like, oh hey, if I want to be as strong as this guy, I have to pay up money in order to be like that. And yeah. it's just like a, a vicious cycle. Of like, okay, I have to get better and I have to pay more in order to do that. It's so dumb. Yeah. Like stuff like that really gets me. Um, but I don't know. It's so it's so toxic. Like, bro. I, I yeah. knew um something like that would come up because it's made mm -hmm. by EA. Yeah, yeah. I'm not and, surprised. Um, they make like all the sports games like Madden, NFL. FIFA, oh God. Uh, okay, and, those and are the most toxic right there. Madden and NFL aren't that popular over here. But back mm -hmm. when I was a small teenager, FIFA was all the rage. You know, mm -hmm. I was a cool kid. I wasn't. Um, and you know, you'd people would like work hard in the game, get in game currency, spend it to try to get new football players in these packs of cards, and then people would actually go and spend real money on it. And that's not good because you're playing a game in which you are spending money to get a real person. On a digital screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's, to play it's a sport that you can go outside and play on your own. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it isn't it. Wouldn't that be basically digital human trafficking at that point? Yep. Um, yep. Um, <laughs> they had a marketplace where you could buy the people as well. Oh my god. Yeah. That. Yep. And everything. Yep. Digital human trafficking. Yeah. Jeez, <laughs> bro. Get EA like shut down for human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> rip Dang. i don't i never actually understood why people were so hyped about those games like it's like bro you're seriously playing a game about a sport like seriously like i don't I can know. understand if it's like it is supernatural version of the sport but yeah it's like, just like the normal sport like go i like, know and people would get so hyped about it too i'm like bro are you serious like, is it really that good? Have you never played a video game? Have you never played the game itself? Like, have you never played <laughs> basketball? Was <laughs> that like, about it in real life? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm like, That's why I played it anyway. Um, so, so an uh, another thing I kind of wanted to bring up, um, just as one final, uh, the one final topic before we close up the podcast is that. Okay, so with every th with all these gotcha games and stuff going on and stuff like that, and with peop with like the governments cracking down, especially the European governments, what do you what do you guys what's your guys' opinion on should we like regulate gotcha games like tightly or should it be like kind of as it is right now, like how um, the UK and America has it, where it's there isn't really a lot of regulations. So there's this cool thing built into that Pokemon Masters game I mentioned earlier where. Mm -hmm. If you, it, whenever you go make a purchase that tells you like, hey, you've bought this much this month, make sure you don't spend too much. And then if you go over a certain amount, it stops you. 
Mm-hmm. So I think if the games had that, then it would be a healthier thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's actually really nice. I don't know if they still have it because I don't know, but it was like when the when it first came out, they had all these big offers on. Yeah. And they were like, "Hey, don't go overboard." Right. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. I don't know. Um, in all honesty, I mean, it really depends on the person themselves. Like, it's their, uh, well, yeah, it's like, um, it's their choice if they want to spend that much or not. But even so, it would be nice to have, like, a feature like that, where if you go over a certain amount that it stops you from doing it so that it doesn't become unhealthy for you. And then, you know, it helps people, like, be more responsible with their money to really, like, think about what's worth, you know, paying for, what's worth buying and stuff like that. So people can learn, especially since, like, a lot of the times um, kids are the ones that are uh, buying stuff as well. Yeah. And um, I think it would be a good idea to have some sort of, like, way to, like, stop or block the transaction. Especially if the child is, like, you know, like, if, like, if you're younger and stuff like that and don't really, like, realize that what you're doing is probably not the best course to do at the moment and stuff like that especially if it's a game that's not really worth it and um especially if, like you said those games that like if you have to like in order to get to the top of ranks and stuff you have to pay in order to win like stuff like that should probably be more like regulated and more like um, stopped because like it's a game like that is not really worth it if you can't really enjoy it just by like playing it and like building up your character without having to pay for it because if you have to pay for it like is that really fun though like is it is it fun to just your money go to waste nah that's true it's like i don't know and like i i would rather play a game for free and be able to like level up my character through like just me playing it and stuff and like um i don't know and like oh that also makes me think of, like, uh, you know how Final Fantasy, like, if you want to keep leveling up, you have to, like, pay for their subscription thingy or whatever? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, like, that one? Like, I I don't know. I don't really, like, like that idea, because it's, like, mm, I, I guess, but, like, um, people, like, will stop playing it eventually once they reach that level and stuff, because some people don't see, you know, like, it as something to really spend money right and then like but other people will kind of continue doing it and stuff like that but like i don't i don't know i don't really like the whole subscription thing where you you pay the thing in order to like continue playing the game i think it's kind of like pointless because there's going to be a, a point in time where people won't be able to continue playing that game in the end it's like what's the point in paying for it if you're not going to be able to like play it anymore or something right right and like, um, if it's like a one-time feed to get certain like, uh, certain like cosmetics or certain items and stuff like that, but it's like during a time period where you have enough time to like be able to like, um, you know, collect what you need or in order to like get those items, then yeah, that's okay because at least you you're aware that there's a time period and that you have to work during that time in order to like get what you want. But if it's, like, a thing where you're continuously paying and stuff like that, and you know that you won't always be playing it, then I don't see a point in actually paying for that stuff. Because it's, like, you're just wasting money at, at that point. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. And doesn't Final Fantasy also have gotcha, gotcha game? Uh, like, uh, like, their uh, main games? There is slash was a mobile gacha game for Final Fantasy. Well, uh, if you're talking about, like, the MMO... um. Like within the MMO Final Fantasy game, um, which is Final Fantasy fourteen, they do have like a casino kind of like thing, but it's not like yeah. um, it's not it's not like you're actually spending your own money because you're already paying for the subscription. So the only way to actually obtain money in order to like gamble or whatever in gambling or whatever is that is you have to like do missions in order to earn the in like in currency thing. Yeah. So technically, it's not really gotcha or gambling because you know you can't obtain that through actual money because you you're already paying for subscriptions and you can't pay for anything else. 
um oh, okay. so that, that that i think that's healthy um way of doing things just because you're already mm -hmm. paying for it and the only way to go about it is actually working hard and gaining that in currency thing but i think there are um like the more uh, like ducky said two there is a f mobile gacha games there yeah yeah final fantasy brave exvius and final fan or oh, decidia final fantasy double yeah yeah like or, what ooh, i don't know <laughs> like like what he said um uh, like what ducky said that those i know for a fact those are because i did play um brave exvius and like the decidia mm -hmm. one and it is a gacha game because you randomly get like items and stuff like that um and you do um have the opportunity to pay in order to get more gems or something to unlock more items randomly or whatever yeah. so that is a gacha game um but if you're in terms of like other games i don't think i think all the gacha games are on mobile for final fantasy the mmo one mm -hmm. doesn't have any of that stuff which luckily i, I could be wrong because just because it's been a while but luckily um it doesn't have it because you know you're already spending like 14 dollars a month to play this game so yeah it would suck if they if you have to pay in order to win the game at the game as well so it, yeah i that's what i was like i couldn't remember i was like is that part of the subscription or not but yeah it would have sucked if you had to pay for that as well yeah i don't know i mean final fantasy is a, is a pretty fun game and stuff um personally for me i like I, I have a hard time continuing certain games, like, um, continuously since I want to work on other stuff, so, I don't know. It's, I don't see myself really paying for it, honestly. Plus, you know, I'm not it, even at, like, level 50 yet. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even there yet. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a hit and miss kind of thing, but, yeah. I mean, aside from that, I think, I think we pretty much covered, like, basically everything about gotcha really that we wanted to talk about unless you guys have anything else to add on before Down we end with the gotcha podcast games. No, I'm just for, for any old people listening if you have children and you play gotcha games ask yourself would you rather buy your child shoes or would you rather, would you rather get Tataglia no. and Genshin Impact no, 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 you, obviously you mean, Genshin you... Impact <laughs> <laughs> you mean, would you rather feed your child or would you rather feed your character that's what you're, you're basically... We, everybody should know the right answer, and that's obviously exactly. feed your character. So... <laughs> <laughs> obviously, it's the only option. Yeah. The best gacha game is like... Yeah. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no oh, kidding. Wait, no way, hold on. <laughs> Bruh. You pay money for something, and you never know what's going to turn down and something like marriage. Oh, true, shit. true. Marriage is a gacha game? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right, is it though? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll we'll find out <laughs> in the next next future episodes. Well, with that with that said, I guess um I guess uh I don't know, Ducky. Do you want to do the outro the as outro. always? Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, thanks for listening, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and it's a, it's definitely a thought-provoking one. If you have anything <laughs> to say, uh, contact us on social media. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, email us, anniepop.podcast at gmail.com. It's been so long, I forgot. Um, <laughs> if you watch it's us so on long. YouTube, it's... you can comment. Uh, <laughs> we are available on any platform that has podcasts, I think. Um, yep. Yeah. And next Anything week, has podcasts. or next time, we will be interviewing a special guest. Oh, yeah, we are. We are interviewing a special guest. Yeah, we oh, are. yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yes. Uh, next episode, special guest. Stay tuned. Why? I'm sure you'll all love it. So. Next <laughs> on Andy's podcast. <laughs> yeah, totally. We need all right. like an outro song or something. Like a theme song. I'll, I'll come up with something eventually. Yeah, you bet. Jay aggressively <laughs> strumming a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. See you guys. See you. Okay, bye. All right. Bye. Gang, gang. <laughs>